Hi, and welcome to Themico. In this video, we'll dive into the theory and characteristics of dry friction. We'll learn, for instance, what is meant by static and kinetic friction, and what is the difference between these two. Let's get started. Firstly, we must understand what friction is and why it also occurs. We can define friction as being a force of resistance that tries to prevent slipping of the body relative to the other body, or to the surface with which it is in contact with. Therefore, we can determine that this resistance force acts as a tangential force between the contact surfaces of the bodies against the possible direction of motion. There exist two types of frictional forces. One of them is fluid friction, which exists when the contact surfaces are separated by a layer of fluid or gas. And the other one is Coulomb friction, which exists when the contact surfaces are in direct contact with each other. In this course, we ignore fluid friction completely, because most of the problems that we are going to deal with are related to cases where there is no separate layer of fluid or gas between contact surfaces. Thus, we only focus on dry friction. For us to understand the concept of friction, we have to know what is meant by static and kinetic friction and how they differ. We can think of the static friction as being a resistance force that we must conquer before we can move the object even slightly. For instance, if we would like to move a block on a ground, we would have to apply a force which is equal or greater than the static friction which acts on the body. Notice that the static friction would have zero value if we wouldn't apply any force. Thus, static friction is a developing resistance force which gains its maximum value just before the object begins its movement, which is caused by the external force. By knowing from the experiments that the static frictional force Fs is directly proportional to the resultant normal force N, we can then determine the maximum value of static friction by using the following equation. Fs equals mu s times N, where mu s is the coefficient of static friction which is dependent on the material of the objects which are in contact with each other. That is also the reason why the value of the coefficient of static friction can vary a lot. It's possible for you to find this value from the engineering handbooks, but this also requires for you to know the contact materials. However, when you want to obtain more accurate results for the static frictional force, then you need to solve the coefficient of static friction experimentally. In one type of experiment, we set a certain object, whose weight we know, on an inclined plane, after which we start to increase the inclination of the plane until the object begins to move. At the same moment, we also measure the inclination angle, theta s. By applying the following equilibrium equations, it's possible for us to solve the coefficient of static friction, mu s. The equation yields the following solution. Mu s equals w times sine theta s divided by w times cos theta s equals tan theta s. How about the kinetic frictional force then? How does it differ from the static frictional force? The kinetic frictional force comes into the picture when the object begins to move, at which time the static frictional force is also not resisting the object anymore. In a sense, you can think of the static frictional force as changing into the kinetic frictional force when the object begins its movement. Note that the kinetic frictional force is always smaller than the static frictional force. We can solve the kinetic frictional force from the following equation. Fk equals mu k times n, where mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction which is also smaller than mu s. Hopefully, by watching this video, you know the definition of friction and especially of dry friction. You are also familiar with the main characteristics of friction and you know what the difference between the static frictional force and the kinetic frictional force is. In the next video, we are ready to start our interesting journey into dynamics. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.